Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill, I noticed we haven't played with a Borat for pretty much one year, and fellas, this is one of the most uh, popular tan uh, tanks overall in the game, this is one of the most popular premium tanks, and I know plenty of people might struggle to play with this vehicle, so how about we are going to go for a spin, and how about we are going to make Mr. Borat work, what do you think about this? So, what do we want to do and what do we have? Unfortunately, we have a losing spawn in fjords. Not the greatest way to start our experience, but let's see what we can do. And the first things first, how we are going to start everything, we are going to take like um, a spotter schnitzel position because Borat has a great combination of the things and Borat can behave like a spotter um, as well as a damage dealer. So at this point, we are just chilling here and we are waiting until someone will arrive to this position or alternatively until someone will try to make a mistake or until someone will make a mistake I suppose to say. And though boy so boy's enemy uh, bulldog is not enjoying himself. He knows he made a mistake, he knows he messed up and he is officially dead fellas. Uh, he cannot change absolutely anything about this. We are yoinking the kill and we are running for our life. Meow. Good. Very good. Okay, what is the position where we want to play? This is the question. Where do we want to play? And what is so good about Borat? Why this tank is so loved by community and what is up? Well, answer is simple. This tank is uh, kind of crazy, to be fair with you. By saying this, I mean this tank has crazy burst fire. This tank can spank enemies for uh, pretty much 700 damage in 2 seconds, which is insane. Um, and overall, speaking about, about the gun, 360 alpha damage, 190mm uh, of penetration and 1000 shell velocity. And if we are talking about the gold, it has... Um, 240 millimeters of penetration so you are gaining extra 50 penetration and quarter faster shell velocity so you are pretty much uh, your shells are flying quicker and oh boy oh boy quicker they fly as you can see this guy made a one simple mistake one bad decision and he was dead in pretty much two seconds he couldn't react he couldn't do absolutely anything and this is why this tank is so powerful and i know there is two teams um aka borat team and team of uh, of progetto and you know what both of the tanks are extremely powerful and both of the tanks are extremely good it doesn't really matter which one of those two vehicles you are going to take. Uh, you will more likely you are going to have a great time. Although uh, this needs to be said as well. It is not an easy tank to play with. If you think you are going to get this vehicle. And if you think you are going to slaughter everyone without any problems whatsoever. It is not going to be the case. It is a hard tank to play with. And uh, um, if you are going to make a mistake you won't enjoy yourself. And plus on top of that this needs to be said as well um if um, if enemy arta will try to focus on you uh, you are pretty much easy penetration for enemy arta and that's very important thing to say fellas it truly is important thing to say hmm. okay let's see what do we want to do now at this point, I would love to find a decent angle to punish uh, ML or E50 or anyone else playing around this area. That's what I would like to see. Meanwhile, our K91 PT should be able to eliminate lore from the game. At least that's what we are hoping for and that's what we want to see. Oh, hi, how are you doing? That's one and that's two beautiful once again look at this in a second boom 600 damage this is this is so insane considering it is a tier 8 tank fellas it is truly insane and that's why Borat is so damn loved uh, now please 
keep this in mind I play this tank in the budget mode aka I as you can see I am not shooting uh, I am not using so many uh, gold rounds right I believe that's fair to say and in the same time um, I do not really have that uh, um, that good of the equipment i'm not using bounty equipment with those two things combined the tank is uh, so much better believe me and what you are seeing here you are seeing the budget board right you are seeing the budget board fellas beautiful very very nice reaction I am still feeling alright. I know I could spank this guy and in fact I'm going to go on the reload. And I am going to try to figure out how to uh, get one more extra clip. <coughs> That's what I am looking for. 7 seconds left, 6 seconds left. I am feeling very very well with all of this. And at this point we need to go for it. He has his PP raised. Fellas. I cannot shoot this gentleman. He had his PP raised, so I simply could not spank him. He knew death is coming and he had no fear, okay? He was pretty much going like this, okay? And you know what? I can respect that. So, speaking about this game, even though we had a losing spawn, our team managed to win. And that says a lot about our team. Our team simply played... Better than enemy team did, right? And hip hip hooray, this is what we have. Um, 2.7 thousand damage, 100 assisting damage. Not ideal game by any shape or any form. But we are taking this and we are going to for a round number two. Let's go. Okay, fellas, round number two. Cliff tier seven matchmaking. We are top tier. Well, in this game, I would love to see three and a half thousand damage. That would be much appreciated. So how we are going to do the things, we are instantly going to this position here and we will try to clip someone who is crossing like this. This tank is extremely quick fellas and this tank is capable of doing uh, many bad things. Pretty much um, uh, this tank perfect play right is to get, <coughs> get into position quickly and simply bam bam burst someone whoever, um, whoever is not expecting this tank to be so quick quick here right so for example in this kind of situation we are missing a very important shot oh well what can we do but we max rolled the e25 that's actually absolutely amazing very good okay one out of um, one out of two for now that's okay this is not as simple as i expected it to be enemies have this position and enemies have middle <coughs> Meanwhile, enemy Borat shot once, so at this point I think we could potentially, no, we, could, we cannot. We cannot, I repeat, we cannot. I don't like this. Enemy Borat will wait for us here. Uh, this is not a good idea, fellas, to use this bush at this point. Oh. Spitz made a mistake. Beautiful. Spitz made a mistake, fellas. He is dead. Very, very nice. So we can go on the reload. That's a start. We are feeling relatively fine and we are uh, feeling all right. I know about this board sitting somewhere around this area and I know what kind of price I will need to pay if he is going to catch me off guard, okay? I am super aware of that and I know fellas. So I do not really want to go into this bush because once again I'm a bit paranoid if I would get outspotted by him. And more likely I would. In the same time what I would love to do I would love to go on top of the hill because this would open the gates to the hill for the enemies. And this would be absolutely amazing but once again I wish to say it would be so simple to do. I wish to say it would be so simple to do. Meanwhile, Super Hellcat is going home. That's okay. I am going to peek just like so. And look at this beautiful angle. You know what is the best part of all this? We was not spotted until we actually fired. So either Borat is not sitting in the position where I think he is. Or, uh, or, or, or. 
Um, I am not following what is happening in this game. Okay, he simply did not manage it to spot us. Okay, that's actually amazing. Meanwhile, what do we want to do at this point? At this point, I would love to try to go on top of the hill. And in fact, I am going to go for this. So, let's move like so. Very, very nice. Let's try to take angle like this. Beautiful. We are on top of the hill. Okay. Next victim is going to be ISU. We have a very straightforward angle. We should be able to punish him like there is no tomorrow. And after that, we will try to work the love out. I do not really think he is going to react properly, to be fair with you. So, I am taking my time. I am aiming fully. And I am saying in the garage that's what is so powerful about this tank fellas that's why Borat is so powerful and that's by, uh, why Borat is so loved by the community once again it is not the easiest tank to play with by any shape or any form but oh boy oh boy if you know what you are doing everyone will scream literally everyone and usually what i noticed i noticed you are seeing borats who are spamming the full gold as well because this is just the right way to play with this vehicle and the tank is becoming pretty much 20% more powerful if we can say so and this is very important thing to highlight fellas it truly is it truly is Meanwhile, what am I thinking? I am thinking how to craft a decent angle and look at this beauty. And one for the team and one for the team. Unfortunately, we did not penetrate at him a single time, which is quite sad thing considering he is sitting in the open field. But relax, take it easy, we got this and we are going to make him um, suffer. Or I suppose to say we are going to make him very, very happy. Meanwhile, we are going, uh, we are crafting a decent angle and at this point he know he messed up. Yeah, you see, fellas, this tank, uh, there is a very, very, very uh, uh, big reason why this vehicle is so powerful and uh, why this tank is so uh, popular in the same time. We are going to go for a blind shot clip just like so. That's a miss for sure. How about this? And this is a miss for sure. I thought maybe Stuner Emil is sitting somewhere around this area and probably he is. But I simply missed my blind shots. That's okay. Let's try to make a bit of pressure. Wee! Like this. Just like so. Do I care about this um, IS-2? Probably I do care about him. Boom. He is dead. How about Mr. Love? Boom, he is dead, unfortunately not by us, that's okay, enemy Bora just clipped uh, TNH, so at this point we can try to find where enemy Bora is. Um, I would say he might sit here, what do you think fellas? I think there is a humongous possibility of this gentleman sitting somewhere around this area. Oh, how are you doing? That's okay, I do not really mind as wrong as it sounds fellas, I do not really mind. And at this point... All we need to do, we need to try to be the living crap out of him. And I, oh, you son of the banana, Arta. Eh, such a misplay by me. I repeat, such a misplay by me. And you know what is the worst thing of all this? He's going to be reloaded now. Eesh. Definitely not exactly what I was looking for, but that's what we have, fellas. It's okay. What can you do? Cry every time. But at this point, at least, I know one thing. This Arta is going to die. I repeat, fellas, this Arta is going to die. And that's how we are going to pick up our sixth kill. And I boom, beautiful, one more, thank you very much. Excellent, can we rig brother in arms with this cover? Three, question mark, question mark, question mark, no, we cannot. Okay, we did our best. 3.7 thousand damage, 1.3 thousand assisting damage, and once again... I am trying to show what this tank is capable of doing and honestly it is a very, very, very strong vehicle. It truly is. Um, and if you are going to play this tank properly, uh, you are going to destroy many enemy hopes. Believe me, 
you will. So, looking into this game, um, we should be first by the damage, we should be first by experience, and this is exactly what is happening. And in the same time, we made 100,000 uh, profits, which is always nice and always welcome. So, that's pretty good stuff. Meanwhile, let's go for the last game, third game with Borat. Let's go. And we are back with the third game. So, what do we have? We have a very, very nice matchmaking for ourselves. We have Seren Coast against the tier 6s. So, oh boy, so oh boys, I would love to make another three and a half thousand in this game. So, let's see. Uh, I believe we are going to start everything with a relatively simple strategy. We are going to take this typical bush and from this typical bush not only we can spot enemies playing here but in the same time we can clip them out. Knight? Ooh, okay. Okay, big boy. Okay, big boy. How are you doing? Okay, this Vaka is annoying, but you know what? I am going to take a risk for to go for him. Okay, he is officially dead. Very, very nice. So what we want to do at this point? At this point, we want to be the living crap out of Mr. IMD, if it is possible. Right? IMD is running for his life. Obviously, he's taking one for the team. That's completely fine. And at this point, we are feeling very, very good. I know it sounds weird, fellas, and this is... Uh, woo! Not exactly what I am looking for, that's okay, we know Chito is sitting here and we, and we know Amax is still sniping from the back, that's okay. Look, we are feeling completely fine even though we lost a bit of the hit points here. We are not crying in the corner, I repeat, we are not crying in the corner and we are feeling very very well here. At this point, I want to get, build some distance between me and enemies in the same time. I do not really want to stay in the same position. And I want to prepare to shoot people who are getting spotted here um, and who are making one or another mistake. Right? So that's all we want to do. Look at this beauty. Amax is sitting in the open field. Right? Tier 7 Amax. Yummy. Um, I know he might feel great at this point, but soon he will change his mind and soon he will think, what the flying F am I doing? This is what I want to see. I would love to see him crossing like this, but I think he might actually take a wider angle and this is exactly what is happening. I shouldn't be spotted, so I'm not too worried and I'm thinking about better angle and here we go. We had a bit better angle, fellas. Hmm. This MX is, uh, he is playing relatively well, honestly. Uh, he actually turned his turret to uh, the enemy side, okay? So this is pretty impressive knowledge, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Meanwhile, going for a couple of the blind shots just like so. This tank, I need to say one thing. This tank is not good sniper schnitzel, though. Um, it is very important thing to highlight because if you think you are playing with, whenever you are playing with this tank, you are like Leopard, now you are not okay you get ca you cannot expect to hit every single shot uh, um, from the long range okay because from the long range this vehicle is uh, actually pretty poo poo if you know what I mean it is not that great from the long range meanwhile let's see hmm Minus 3,000 hit points. I'm not feeling very happy with this situation, fellas, to be fair with you. I am not feeling that great and I'm not feeling that happy. Looks like enemies are playing pretty well. Meanwhile, Chito spotted in the middle. We are spanking him once. We are praying where he is going to escape and he, yeah, we are smacking him second time. Beautiful. How about Esterva 81? I know exact position where do we want to play and we want to take this position here on the corner or actually maybe I could uh, play somewhere here in the back but that's okay. Meanwhile look at this gentleman running like crazy mother trucker. Good, very very nice shot. I know I am not safe from the Patriot, I am very very well aware of that but we are feeling alright. We still have 500 hit points left. And we can get a good use of those 500 hit points. Meanwhile, how are you doing? Enjoying yourself, trying to craft a nice angle and it is as good as it is going to get, right? Let's go for another one, shame. Unfortunately, game said no, but that's okay. 
You see, this game is a bit different story uh, compared to the previous games. In this game, the uh, distance is kind of bigger, you know? And it's not so easy to hit shots whenever the distance is so, um, so big. And this is very important thing to highlight. Meanwhile... I'm still feeling very, very well here. In fact, I'm feeling that well. I am thinking how to um, be the living crap out of this Patriot, if it is possible. Uh, he should be dead. I repeat, he should be dead. Yeah, probably not the best um, clip ever. That's for sure. Meanwhile, Hellcat, he's asking to be clipped fully. Okay, let's go for a Hellcat. He is down to clippable and he is kind of down to one shotable for us, right? So let's do this. Hellcat now is down to one shotable for sure. And what we can do and what we will do, we will kill him just like so. He is still alive, he is dead. A bit of the drifting skills and let's run away. Quite weird, you know, hit and run, hit and run, hit and run. This is how you are playing with this time, hit and run. Running like crazy mother trucker, fellas. This is how you are playing with this tank. Okay, what do we want to do? We want to take this position over there. Why do we want to take this position over there? Because enemies, there is a humongous chance enemies will try to make a pressure like this. And if they are going to make pressure like this, we should be able to punish them for their stupidity. Let's do this. Actually, I could go and kill the art as well, I think. I think I could go and kill Arta. Hi there. Beautiful. This Amaix, he did absolutely everything properly, fellas. This Amaix, he played very, very well. At this point, I am thinking about the Patriot for obvious reasons, since he still has quite a bit of the hit points, and in the same time, we can easily clip him out. And as you can see, fellas, I'm not shooting a single gold ammunition until I need to, right? And you can only imagine how, um, how better this tank would actually be with a full uh, gold loadout, right? Um... I played with this tank to get 100% of the mark of excellence and I can tell you it was a pretty enjoyable gaming experience. It was pretty enjoyable, fellas. Meanwhile, we are going to load the high explosive clip for Arta just because I do not want to shoot a single gold ammunition with this vehicle and here we go, beautiful performance. We made it work, I am feeling happy with our performance and I think... Uh, I think we played close to perfection. Well, the first game was the weakest, though. But in the same time, you know, um, I probably needed to uh, play one game to get into the Borat uh, mindset. This also could be possibility. Meanwhile, he's dead. Beautiful. 4,000 damage, 600 assisting damage. Uh, I think we played pretty well. Plus, on top of that, we might have one blind shot for, uh, for Cheeto. I think so. So, let's see. Moment of truth. Moment of truth, fellas. Do we have blind shot or not? We do. Beautiful. We have blind shot. So we fully farm it, this guy. Actually, no. We have blind shot to someone else. Ah, maybe a starva. Maybe a starva, fellas. Eh, either way. No complaints, no regrets, fellas. So what do we have? We have a very, very nice game. Uh, first class. Top gun, high caliber, 4.4 thousand damage, 6 kills, 800 assisting damage, top by experience, top by the damage, and we made healthy 100 thousand credits. And overall, speaking about our experience with this tank, we played for 3.6 thousand damage and 800 assisting damage. This tank is perfection, this tank is ideal, and this tank, and there is a reason why this vehicle is so much played by, um, by the World of Tanks community. So, fellas, boys,
boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you were very, very well entertained and I hope you enjoyed yourself. Obviously, thank you very much for watching and for your time. I hope your legs on the toilet uh, did not become numb after um, 26 minutes of World of Tanks died. Uh, and in the same time, I want to thank you for every single of you for your support, uh, for your time and for everything. For lovely patrons, for people who are clicking the join button and for people who are using uh, index page uh, in general. Thank you very much. I hope we are worth it and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.